Right now, we're going to roll the show uh, right on down. A good friend of mine called me yesterday from New York City. I didn't even know he was there. I was happy to be able to abscound with him, get him to get on a train and get down here to do this show. He's from Cincinnati, Ohio. Great comedian. Please, a nice round of applause, Mr. John Regi. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Herculon, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, um, I'm really glad to be here. I really, really am. I'm not just saying that just because I'm supposed to stroke you as soon as I come out. But um, I really am happy because I just got back from Alabama, and I hated it there. Um, I don't know if you've been to Alabama or if you're from Alabama, but if you are from Alabama, uh, congratulations on your escape because uh, I went down there and they were real stupid. And... Um, <laughs> Pretty much made the ultimate mistake. I used a three-syllable word during the course of my show, and pretty much half the audience started going, my brain's bleeding, you know, like that. So, uh, <clears throat> my, in my opinion, the entire state should be paved. And I'm not kidding. I think uh, this, uh, this country needs a patio. And uh, I'll put a big sliding glass door on Georgia, and we can go down there and lay out. And get like really tan. So, um, yeah. I'm really happy though. I am, I'm, I truly am very happy. I, I've got a girlfriend now, and uh, as Mike can tell you, I've only had a girlfriend like three times in my life. Um, it never lasts. I get a girlfriend, maybe this has happened to you. You get a girlfriend, and you come home from work, and you open the door to your apartment, and somehow she's managed to escape, you know, and. Uh, <laughs> You know what I mean? You leave the door open and she's history, you know. And um, I have this girlfriend now. Her name is Chrissy. She's 18. And I feel terrible dating an 18-year-old. And the only reason I am dating her is because I figured I'd feel even worse if I didn't and had the chance, you know. So uh, we go out. We have absolutely nothing in common. It's, it's totally wrong. Uh, we, we go mauling, you know. We love to go to the mall. Love to go to the mall, you know what I mean? You go to the mall, you do the mall walk, you know what I mean? You walk down the mall, you get to like the big store at the end of the mall, and then you do the mall turn, you know, and go the other way. Because like that big store you have no interest in, you know what I mean? It's like you get to Sears and you go, the hell with Sears, you know what I mean? They, they sell hedge trimmers, and I don't have to plant hedges until I'm like 43. That's a rule. So, well, we go to Spencer Gifts. She really likes it. I don't know if you have that here or not. Yeah, yeah, it's a great store. They have uh, wonderful merchandise at low, low prices. And... Uh, <laughs> I don't think you can have enough plastic vomit. I really don't. And, uh, you know, someone gets married, you don't have anything, you grab the plastic vomit. So um, she wanted to buy edible underwear. This is the point of this whole thing. The reason I bring her up is, is she's 18. This is how you can tell. She wants to buy edible underwear. And I said, why? You know, edible and underwear don't go together. I mean, that's a contradiction of terms. I mean, if she would put on edible underwear, I would just say, geez, that's really cute now hose them off or however you intend to remove them because uh, I'm not going to be involved. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I mean, my mother taught me two things in life. She always said, always wear clean underwear and don't eat anyone else's. You know what I mean? That's just... Uh... I, I just don't understand the concept, you know? I mean, it's like because I was wearing it, it's supposed to be erotic. It'd be like if I took off one of my socks right now and said, here, eat this. You know, it's like... Oh, oh. Oh, you're turning me on now, baby, you know. <laughs> she lives in St. Louis, though, so I don't, I don't even really see her that much because I live in Cincinnati and she lives in St. Louis and that's her big drive, you know. But I like St. Louis because they have the arch there. Have you ever seen that arch, the St. Louis arch? It's an amazing piece of architecture. I don't ever go up in it because I don't leave the ground if I don't have to, but you can go up and, and look at the city. I always go see the movie because they show you how they built it, and I was amazed to find out how they built it. They built it from either end. It's like 800 feet across, and they started at either end and built it up like this and then put the centerpiece in with a, a crane. And I was amazed to find out that that's how they did it, except when you stop and think about it, they really had no other alternative. You know what I mean? You can't... <laughs> You can't just start over here and go because, you know, once you make that turn, you know, well, gravity is such a bitch, dude, you know, so. But I don't go up in it because I'm afraid it'll fall. And I don't believe in technology. As I get older, I really start to realize I don't, I don't really believe in too much of anything anymore. I really don't. I mean, I believe in crystal light because I believe in me, you know, but uh, other than that... I believe in God. I mean, I think I do. I saw, I saw Jim and Tammy Baker a lot while I was in the South, and they'll make you believe in God. 
And uh, I mean, I, I, I just don't know about the concept of God because I really think the way I'm going to die is on a plane. I hate flying, and I always think I'm going to die on a plane. And I'm always drunk when I'm on a plane, which is terrible because, you know, you think I'm going to, the last two minutes of my life, I'm going to spend like in a drunken stupor. You know what I mean? If I go down, that'd be a horrible thought. Like 135 of us go up to heaven. All my friends are like, Oh, all my, pos- my fellow passengers are like, oh, gosh, it's heaven. It's beautiful. It's so ethereal. There's relatives of mine. And I'm like in the back going, I think I'm going to vomit. You know what I mean? It's, it's just it's not what you want to say to God on the first day. But I really do have to go, I think. Yeah, I do. I just got this, just got this watch. It's a very cool watch, 1797 at Kmart for a quartz watch. I don't like digital, and I'm not uh, condoning it. I hate it because people now, you can't ask anyone what time it is. You ask people, you, in the old days, you say what time it is. People say it's about a quarter av- after 11. Now you ask people what time it is with digital. They go, it's 11.14.44. Oh, thank you. I'll fire my missile now. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> thanks a lot. You're really good. Thank you. John Reed, you ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Fabulous John Reed. One of my best friends right here. Great yeah, guy, yeah. Thank who uh, you. picked up at the train station today. Yeah. A good ride on the train. Serious was case of narcolepsy on that baby. It's uh-huh. like you hit it and you're like. <laughs> <laughs> you get a little turn, you know. They just they put those little things for a, a beater right here and you have a cake batter by the time you're done. You know? <laughs> Only your finest good. quality people on the train ride. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, it's really okay. It's not like a bus, which is like people bring their own food. Mm. and then let it get rancid before they eat it. You know, it's like, yeah, I think this is done. It smells. Want some? You know, like that. He's a former cook. Mom used to own a restaurant. And, yeah. uh, My mother's a great cook because I'm Italian. And uh, yeah. Italian people? As again, uh-huh. you know, I would, I would ask if there were Italian people in Alabama and they were like, no, you're the first one we ever seen. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, turn around, let's get Luke at you. Know, and, uh, <laughs> I really never felt like an ethnic group until I was down there. I, and, and you know, you watch a TV commercial. Someone pointed this out to me. You watch a television commercial. You really notice that, you know, they take everybody. They they stereotype groups just to sell a product. Because if you're, you'll pretty much believe as an Italian American, I will kill you for good spaghetti sauce. Right. You know what I mean? Like that's my. Life. And they do it to everybody. They do it to the blacks. They do it to Jews. They do it to Asians. They take an entire group and they stereotype them. And it's really unfair, except for the Irish, who really do just run around in fields and cut up soap. You know what I mean? Because. Uh, <laughs> Come on, that's a well-known fact. I see them. You go in the south, you can see them cutting soap every day. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not a great joke to do in Boston, but I don't nah, care. He'll be dead. Yeah. <laughs> a coffee fanatic, though, right? Yeah, oh yeah, I drink a lot of coffee. As a matter of fact, I've had like three cups before I came out here. If I eat something sweet right now, I could blow a ventricle. Right in front of me. If you'd like to, if someone has a Twinkie, it'll come right out right here. A little explosion right in the <laughs> chestal area. Actually, it's not an explosion, it's just a discoloration. Uh, which is a but you drink different. decaf, right? Yeah, I'm drinking decaf now. It's ridiculous. Well, I mean, know. well, you know, I drink a cup of coffee, it's like uh, there's four firemen twisting my colon. <laughs> <laughs> But Where see, is the head? I can't drink. I can't. Uh, everything's gone. <laughs> you know, the older you get, the more the more things go. I mean, I can't even drink. I used to smoke dope. I hope I can say that. And if I can't, edit it. Um, <laughs> but I used to smoke, and now I can't. I just get too paranoid. So now I drink just plenty of NutraSweet, and I get. Uh, I notice I get the same effects because if I drink enough NutraSweet, I get none of the paranoia of drug use, but all the speech slurring. So I uh, like that a lot. <laughs> Plus, I've got a. I've What's got a. <laughs> I've got a brain tumor that I'm trying to get really big before I kick off. <laughs> well, you can fit into that new hat I bought you. The NutraSweet helps with Yeah, you buy them, you grow into them. Yep, which is, right. uh, you have something Hey, this hat's too big. Wait a while. <laughs> <laughs> you get up in the morning, you go, Ma, it's a little smaller. You know, and then you have That's right. You know, dinner. you can take a few of the napkins out, you're home free in a week. Yeah, and then you get a big Dion Warwick head, which is really nice. You get to... Uh, <laughs> Get down syndrome. I've noticed that about Dionne Warwick. Get that and the teeth on her. You know, I ain't got great teeth, but she could eat toast from the outside in. <laughs> she was the original Mr. Ann. That's right. She's I've often thought you could have a Dionne Warwick pen and pencil set. She's just a big wedgie. You know what I mean? You just pick, pick her up and sign your name. She'd be like, she like Busy Buzz Buzz. You remember Busy? No, I don't remember that, John. Wow. 
busy buzz buzz yeah. that uh, <laughs> previous to owning the etch a sketch is that it was uh, it was the same people who made etch a sketch made busy buzz buzz ohio yeah. arts like, yeah and it was it was uh, a pen that that went like this when you draw when you does anyone know this yeah, yeah. I do. See, do you remember somebody? Can, yeah, this, do, you, do you remember somebody's mom's pudding? The, these <laughs> bunch, the bunch, these bunch of kids would be at a pond. <laughs> I'll say this: a bunch of kids would be at a pond, and one of the kids would go, "Geez, I'd really like some pudding." And 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 <laughs> and, and, and somebody's mom would come come flying across the pond on an egg beater, and she would sing, "I'm somebody's, I'm somebody's, I'm somebody's mom." <laughs> It used to happen on Fresh Pond yeah. all the time. Yeah. I think we all remember that, John. <laughs> <laughs> have some, have some coffee. <laughs> Boy, is this shit? Oops. <laughs> That's okay. This stuff Kevin. is hot. We'll get by with it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we got the uh, the uh, the mug holder. <laughs>